trade like the banks. Hi, it's Charlie giving you Saturday's video and hope you're very well. I'm actually recording this early doors on Friday. Um, I've um, This is in response to an email that came in just this past week. So the email um, reads, um, came in to uh, Sam here. Thanks for the email concerning Charlie's trading challenge update. Um, I wasn't able to turn in live, but record the recording this evening. A fascinating insight how he trades and impressive results. I'm hoping to... Okay, right. However, I, as I understand it, anyone can raise a question on trading. And if so, mine is as follows. What are your thoughts on traders who claim that professionals use different data from the rest? Exa examples include volume profile, footprint, order flow. Would be interested in having Charlie's comments on this. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to laugh. Um, not at the, the question. It's a valid question. But there are people out there who are making um, wild <laughs> claims about these things. They're just other indicators. And um, But of course, what some people out there want to do is they like to prey on people's fears. So if, if someone can say, oh, you've got to do it this way, you have to trade this way, if you just trade with traditional technical analysis techniques, which just so you know, traditional technical analysis techniques have, have lived, uh, have, have been around for like 300 years, um, then um, then you're doing it wrong and you can't possibly make money. You know, So you've got these sort of people who are doing that. They're just preying on your fears because remember, it's an easy game for these people to do it because they know that 80% of people out there who are trying to trade are losing money. So they can then say, the reason you're losing money is because of this, this, and this. You're using the wrong technique. You've got to use the technique that I'm going to teach you. And it is no better. There is no... Look, the um, some of the world's best traders use straight, straightforward charts. Let's take Ed Sakota, one of the world, one of the original... Uh, market wizards, very simple techniques. Same with um, uh, Richard Dennis, the the, uh, the the chap who was behind the Turtle Trader experiment, um, as well. Um, it, it, the list can go on. You don't need. I mean, I've looked at. Funny enough, I've looked at volume profile and I just chucked it out. What a load of. I just it just nonsense to me. So, but again, it may not be nonsense to everybody. But again, it's like with any trading indicator that you use, it's about the person. It's not about the indicator. You can have what you think to be the best indicator in the world. You will still lose if you don't have the right mindset. You know I was going to say that, don't you? Because mindset is the true holy grail of trading. It doesn't matter what your style is. And you can trade. I've proven previously that you can trade profitably by flipping a coin. On a coin toss, you can make money if you get the other parts of the equation correct with it, like risk and reward, So, and a couple of other variables. So don't allow these people to prey on you. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there on social media and stuff and you know people talking about this sort of stuff because they think it's cool. The youngsters think, oh, this is, you know, that it's a cool, it's a cool thing. It's not. Stick to what price is doing. You can use whatever indicators you want because indicators are based on price anyway. So if you feel, I use indicators, I use moving averages and I usually use one or two others because they are derived, they're a derivative of price. Let's just, just think about moving averages, for example. See my blue moving average on my chart here. Um, stop thinking about them as just a moving average, which is a lagging indicator. That's what these idiots want to tell you because they don't even understand. Now let's think about what that moving average is. This is a 20 day, or is this on a daily chart, a 20 day moving average. Price is above the 20 day moving average. So that's a 20 day moving average or an average of price. So if price is above its average price of the last 20 days, that's telling us something, isn't it? It's telling us, it's confirming the momentum that's there that we can see on the chart anyway, but it gives us another visual aid because as traders, we do, we as human beings, we it's useful for us to have visual aids. So it doesn't really matter what, I, I like, love moving averages because they're very graceful and because they are an average of price. And if price is trading above that average of price or below the average of price, then... Um, um, that gives us ideas. But anyway, that's another topic. 
The main point is that you make your money in the markets, as I've proven on the trading challenge, and you've quite rightly, this person's uh, commented on that. The basics of what I do come from hard work, rolling up your sleeves and doing analysis and not looking for setups. I don't look for setups. I do the analysis first and I look for where a market is trying to work its way to. It's in essence, I'm identifying a target first and then um, secondary comes the setup. Now, most traders out there are looking for setups first. They're looking for trading patterns, looking for setups, and then they think about their targets. I'm doing it the other way around. So um, my, my main point is though, I would chuck all that stuff out. I think it's a load of nonsense. Way the banks trade, when the banks used to have traders, and some of these people are making themselves out as being ex-bank traders when they're not. Just Google them and you'll find out if you scroll down Google pages enough, you'll find out there that they were cleaners at the banks. So you have to be careful who's telling you this stuff as well. But um, a lot of the time, because I have bank trader colleagues of mine, um, and over the years, the banks are privy to information um, because they are dealing with their hedge funds and pension funds and they see where their pension funds and their hedge funds are buying don't they so they are privy to information that we're not we're not but it doesn't matter it really doesn't we can ride the coattails just by uh, studying price and any indicators you want to have to give you visual support as well. Hopefully that's given you some um, food for thought there today, but really the holy grail of trading is getting your mindset right. Because if you get that right, then you have, you're on top of your discipline, you, you stick to your trading plans, you don't suffer with fear, greed, all those other things. That takes time, but that's the real holy grail.